We're in Barcelona for Mobile World Congress 2019. I'm here with my colleague, Kelsey Sizo. Kelsey, good to see you. Good to see you, Ray. So, it's day two of the show. Who have you been speaking to today and what have you been speaking to them about? I know you've been to see AT&T, so let's start with them. Yeah, I spoke with uh, Roman Paceswitch and Mike Zetto yesterday with AT&T. Oh, this was yesterday. Okay. Oh, yeah, that was yesterday. And then today I talked with Orange with Didier Durias. I think I said his name right. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be I've been fine. Practicing. <laughs> and with AT&T, you were talking, or they were talking about some of the developments they have in terms of their edge computing capabilities. Right. Today they had a media roundtable and they launched the network edge compute, which they're testing with Microsoft Azure. Okay. Uh, so working on some different uh, cloud service applications for enterprises. Uh, they talked about working with an Israeli-based startup. Uh, that develops drone technology. Uh, and they mentioned that, you know, in some cases you might not want a drone in certain areas. So by working with AT&T, they can then signal to the authorities when a drone is maybe flying over an area it's not supposed to be in. Okay. So we're definitely starting to see the development and the use and some use cases for, for edge computing. And interesting enough, uh, yesterday Telefonic was also talking about how it's working with Azure on, on taking some of the, the existing cloud partnerships they have and taking that out further to the edge. So AWS has certainly got its uh, a, a, a big competitor there. Um, and AT&T also talking about SD-WAN, is that right? Yeah, so AT&T and Verizon made the announcement about working, uh, combining SD-WAN and 5G. Um, so there's still a lot to see there. I think we'll, we'll know more later this year about what that will look like. Uh, but we also just talked about where the market is headed with SD-WAN and uh, talked with uh, Didier with Orange about that as well. And so we might see more consolidation. There's still quite a few SD-WAN vendors out there. Yes. Uh, and then also with the recent MEF um, standards, uh, there'll be more focus on you know specifically what SD-WAN is and that might prompt some of that consolidation of folks that are saying they're doing SD-WAN, but it might not quite be what enterprises are really looking for. Okay. But I guess they're all still talking up SD-WAN as a, a, a growing business for them and something that's helping them to deliver more services to enterprises that enterprises actually want and can afford, I think, probably. Right. That's a great point. Um, a lot of, in my conversations today, they spoke about how uh, Orange, for example, how enterprises are really driving the conversation and decisions that telcos are making around SD-WAN, it's really prompted from their customers and what they're demanding. For example, uh, Orange currently works with Cisco Viptela, but they're looking for perhaps another vendor to work with as well to address some new enterprise use cases. Okay. So this is a very serious conversation <laughs> we've had so far. <laughs> but I think we're going to close out with something maybe not quite so serious. <laughs> when you came up here and we started talking, somebody said something about Patriot Chicken. You're going to have to tell me about that. <laughs> so my colleague challenged me to play a game called Patriarchy Chicken. Patriarchy which, Chicken. Yes, okay, which is essentially um, women tend to move out of the way for men, and there's quite a few men here. So the <laughs> idea is to just keep going down the track that you're going. So far, I've been bumped into quite a bit, even though I'm just walking straight. And I've also had a few cases where a guy stopped in front of me <laughs> like a chicken <laughs> in the headlights or deer in the headlights, <laughs> whatever the phrase is. Um, so it's been it's been an interesting game, but I'm kind of running low on steam because it, it <laughs> takes a lot of uh, brain power <laughs> to fight that urge to get out of the way. So. Okay, well, I, I'm definitely going to be looking up instead of <laughs> looking down when I'm walking around the halls for the rest of the day. Kelsey, thanks very much. Thanks, Ray.